Manchester's Old Trafford is a long way from Brisbane, Auckland and Sydney, but the Theatre of Dreams still seemed like a fitting place for a trans-Tasman showdown to decide which nation would wear the crown of world champions. New Zealand had carried that title for the past five years and dared Australia to take it off them in their own unique manner. Two combatants mirrored each other in the opening quarter, with key backs suffering mishaps. Roger Tuavasa-Shek left the field with a leg injury, before Jared Hayne copped a head knock. Let's have a look where he puts his head. Well, it looks perfect from there. Gets it to the right side, but maybe the contact on the side of the head into the hip. They then swapped penalty goals, with plenty of respect shown to the other side's defence. And here we go, Sean Johnson on song. Number flashes around the ground, two all. Australia. Billy Slater was back from a bung knee and made an almost instant impact. Thurston goes for a low kick, he'll find Slater, and Slater will find the end goal to score. First down for Slater. Despite a soft lead in to the tournament decider, the Aussies looked sharp and were eager to press home their early advantage. Ladovay doesn't get it. After an exhaustive analysis that ticked every other box, video referee Ashley Klein ruled that Andrew Fafita had acted illegally as a driver. Now this will be no try Richard, it'll be a penalty to New Zealand. Andrew Fafita has made contact with Isaac Luke. Kronk couldn't believe it, but the 2013 Dally M medal winner didn't let it phase him. And then he was it on and Boyd is away! Boyd has got a kick and it's a little dusty! Bronk got the green light this time, and that allowed Thurston to become Australia's leading point scorer in test football with the conversion. He then added a further penalty, and the Kangaroos did everything possible to preserve their 14-point cushion with defence that just didn't let up, heading to half-time with one hand on the World Cup. Within 60 seconds of play resuming, they strengthened that grip. And now back to halfway already in the first set, and Smith, short side, Thurston's away, he's unloaded, here come the Kangaroos, what a strike, Slater has scored! What a short side raid from Australia, Thurston, Boyd, Slater! Spurred on by their loss to the Kiwis in 08, Australia turned on a masterclass, featuring a fully recovered Hain. Papali had Hain in support, now he's offloaded, what a play, then Morris over the top, then Hain, oh, touch and kick, it's still up for Australia, the score! Morris has scored for the Kangaroos! It was a stunning try that evoked memories of the Kangaroos' miraculous escape on the same ground against Great Britain in 1990. This is something very special at Old Trafford. The Theatre of Dreams has provided a dream try. Morris is OK, thankfully. The sun was setting on New Zealand's reign as world champs when Hayden and Morris united again with equally devastating consequences. Chasers coming from all directions. Hayden has played. Kangaroos were way too good, keeping their line intact once more to record a 34-2 triumph. Congratulations to Australia, World Cup winners for the 10th time. Celebration time for the Kangaroos. David Rowlands, NRL.com.